This week, we're up on the roof cleaning our AC unit. Come on and join us. We rarely use our air conditioner or fan in here, uh, but I've noticed we're getting these dirt contrails coming off on each end. So what I usually do every couple of months, I take down the filter and I clean it. And I assume that would like take care of this, but it doesn't seem like it is. So today I'm going to go ahead, I'll clean the filters. And then after I clean the filters, I'm going to drop this whole thing down and clean inside of it. I'm just assuming we've got some kind of dust or gunk that's building up in there. So we'll take it down and see if that's the, the cause of these dirt streaks. Here's the dirt streaks that I'm talking about right here and here. They've been pretty pronounced back here in the back, uh, but I'm just starting to see them now show up up here in the front. Uh, kind of faint, hard to see right now, but they, they are there. So we're gonna clean this up. I'll show you what a dirty filter looks like. I'll show you what a dirty filter looks like if I can get it out. <laughs> get my head out from underneath it. Great, yeah. So this is dirty. So this is just dust that's built up in here. So every couple months I take it out and I clean it. Outside? I usually do it inside with just a <laughs> like a wet sponge and <laughs> clean it up. But you can see here, this is, we've got dirt. It's building up on here too, or dust. I'm a little a little surprised how dirty it is. Here's one that I just cleaned yesterday. So clean here. Oh yeah, you can see a difference. Yeah. Yeah. And then I clean the filter as well. So it's pretty clean as well compared to this. Quite a bit different. Yeah. So I do this I don't know, about every three months. <laughs> I, I take these down. And clean them. I'm just I'm wondering if I've got something built up in here that's gunking out. So I'm just going to drop the whole thing here. <laughs> we'll see. So if I'm correct, I've just got four Phillips screws that I need to remove to drop this down. If I'm incorrect, we'll find that out together. So. <laughs> Does it have a capacitor? Someone has. <laughs> Maybe it does. Hmm. Maybe have you tested out? Yeah. Actually, I think that would hurt you if it. Um, might be able, yeah, it. this one might be a little bigger. I see a little dirt. They're very dirty though. Really. Yeah. It's a little dirty on the ceiling. Yeah, some dirt, not horrible. Like 
So far it's turning out better than I thought. I was really, really worried that our little contrails of dirt up here were actually gonna be grease. Cause sometimes we've not turned on the fan. So I was worried that we were sucking in greasy air or whatever and blowing it back out. But this just seems like it's dirt. So it's cleaning off better than I expected it to. Never having had a house or an automobile before that has carpeting on the ceiling, <laughs> I'm really not sure what the cleaning protocol is. So if there's someone else, if you have carpet on your ceiling, <laughs> we'd, we'd love to hear from you. How like, do you clean it? Yeah, uh, I, yeah. So feel free, you know, throw us a bone, uh, help us out. Cause I'm not gonna clean the whole ceiling with Lysol wipes, but anyway, so far so good. The other day we turned on the air conditioner uh, and I, I noticed at the time it was, you know, I've got these, these little levers, levers, whatever you want to call them here. And in the past I've been able to like close, I don't know, I closed the one that's aiming towards the, the back of the camper and I would leave the one open uh, aimed towards our bedroom. Uh, but the other day they were both just kind of flopping open no matter what I did. So I, the other day I thought, oh, I should take this down and look at it and see kind of what's what's going on. Now that I'm in here and I'm looking around, uh, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> it doesn't seem than, to be a mechanism uh, to hold them up, really. It doesn't. I think it was just goodwill. So I could probably put something in here to make it a little stiffer. Uh, That's what she said. I'll go back to cleaning them. <laughs> really just trying to get into all the nooks and crannies here. And you can see there's there's dirt in here to, to be had. So I'm really just trying to get it all wiped out. Uh, taking off the list for today. So I think the other real dirty part I have really is this filter. And for the filter, like literally, I just rub them. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yep, 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 yeah. yep. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh, this one's dry. <laughs> Well, it's just <laughs> You're just feeling <laughs> rambunctious. <laughs> oh goodness. You cannot blame that on me. Well Oh jeez. Yeah, I do these every couple months I clean these. And I guess it's so surprising to me because we just don't use our air conditioner or the fan that much. Yeah, it is surprising that it collects so much dust. Yeah. I know I've said it before. Owning a truck camper, it's just like owning a house. There's just periodic maintenance you have to do. Although I suppose some people never change the, the filters in their furnaces or whatever, so. Oh, I see the blower in there spinning. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because it's windy? I guess, yeah. Hey everybody, this seemed like a good opportunity for us to jump in. I, we know you're riveted by <laughs> the sight of us working on the air conditioner, but it seemed like fascinating. this was a great time for us to jump in and say thank you to our newest patron, Travel Required 75%. Thank you so much. We appreciate you jumping on and becoming a, a cupcake. Follower? Cupcake follower? Cupcake club? Well, anyways, you're, thanks. You're a cupcake now. <laughs> We sure do appreciate it, even though we're, you know, a little spastic and awkward. <laughs> but... If you, outside of Travel Required 75%, would like to help us and become a patron as well, 
I'll put a link right here. Click on the link and you can throw us a couple bones. We'd yeah. appreciate it. Buy us a tank of diesel. Or a little bit of diesel. A little. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. A little. A, little. a gallon or two. You know, or yeah. a tank. If you're, you know, if you really want to, you know, a tank is if, good If you want to buy a tank, we'll take a tank. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't want to forget the bee. I'm not sure where we got this. You got it in with Albert and Bertha at Madeira Canyon. Oh, yeah. Where there's a ton of hummingbirds. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Suddenly, I saw that one little spot of grease, and I was like, oh, no, let's get it clean. And then I have my other guy. I got this in New Mexico, I think. Oh, yeah, last year in New Mexico. Yeah. I think this was Native American. That little one? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So, learning from today, uh, I didn't honestly know that uh, the fan is spinning in here all the time. So if there's a breeze or whatever outside like there is today, that's causing the fan to spin. So we're getting air movement. And dust. And dust, which kind of explains like what's happening here and why we're getting the dirt here, even though we don't use it that often. It's the, the fan blade up there just moving in the wind. So a little different than a house furnace or air conditioner, I guess. Uh, so, uh, is it though? Well, we're not gonna on um, inside oh, in, yeah. in the furnace. In the house, yeah. in the house. The furnace I don't know. Is like, inside. Yeah, air yeah. conditioning unit outside. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. So, we don't live anywhere that needs air conditioning for most of the year. Yeah. Anyway, so I guess if we want to keep these closed. That will. Oh yeah, it does stay up there, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll see if it continues to stay up. Anyway, quick, easy project. Uh, it doesn't even doesn't even land on a screwdriver list. It's so easy. <laughs> all these whatever we're going to call them connects disconnected now so this should just open up hopefully like a, a sleeve oh yeah and there's one side there's the other side oh 
Oh. Oh, what kind of fuckery do we see here? Oh, those dirty dogs. So, a year or so ago, we were getting our tires changed at Discount Tire, and they had me pulling into the garage. And we were saying it seems too, too short, the, the, the roof. And they were like, no, 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 come in. And I stopped. I could feel resistance. So, you could see it was like, I'll try to find a picture to show you. Like, we had it like a, a bend here. And I took it back to our dealer for them to repair, and they charged us for a full repair. But clearly what they did was nothing here, and just replace this. So it looks like they put some tape on the edge, and that's why I'm saying those dirty dogs. God almighty. What a load of horseshit. That just pisses me off. Let's pause while I think. All right, here's my view from the other side. You get a nice idea, you know, like here's where the uh, the edge of the garage door, that's where we backed into it, crunched in here. For the life of me, I don't understand why they didn't fix this. It was an insurance claim. This is wacky to me. It's just wacky. All right. But it still works. We've used it. So primarily I was coming up. I wanted to look back here. I think these are condenser coils. And they don't really look that bad. I was looking for a lot of debris. And then I'm not seeing a lot of debris. So I could, if I wanted to, I could get a cleaner and like spray this off and then rinse it down. Uh, being as how we're like literally like we are middle of never boondocking uh, I don't have a condenser cleaner and I don't really want to use our water to spray this off so maybe the cleaning this spraying this off gently might be a project I could do uh, more closer to home if I want to I can get like a little fin fin tool and I think I can straighten these out hasn't made much of a difference as far as the fan, the fan is spinning fine. I don't hear anything binding up. So I think I'm okay with that. Everything here looks relatively clean. Uh, I'm not gonna muck with that. I was gonna take this apart. And we could look inside, but just based on this, uh, I'm not going to. So I think I'll just go ahead and button this back up. Since I'm up here, I'll just continue one of my favorite pastimes, which is putting this back on. My plan for the summer is to replace that. Looks like this guy's doing okay. Yeah, it's all right. So what do you think? I know what I think. Did the RV dealer do us dirty? Like our, our project of cleaning the AC vents kind of took a different turn when I got on top of the of cupcake up here and started looking at the vents, and the ductwork, excuse me, and I saw the ductwork was actually crushed. For myself in a prior life, I was not a mechanic. I'm not a car guy, you know, like, I, that's not me. I do spreadsheets. I write, you know, that, that's, that's my, that's my skill set. Not this mechanical stuff, if that's even mechanical. <laughs> Recently we had the, the truck in 
for some, some work. They said, you need some work. And that's coming in a future episode. And I was just like, oh my God, yes, we, let's do that work. Yes, they're telling me it's critical. Okay, we'll do it. And then we took it somewhere else and they're like, no, you don't need any of that. So to me at times, like the truck camper thing, like in the truck, like good Lord, I, I'm just, I'm flying in the dark here. And no matter how many questions I ask or how nice I try to be, it doesn't seem like I, I'm getting anywhere. Like the roof thing, like it doesn't take a rocket science. You saw it, it's crushed. Like, am I supposed to be like the jackass at the dealer when they do some work where I'm like, show it to me. I want to see it. I'm going to crawl on top and look at it myself. I think after this event, what I'm seeing today, like next time, if I have something like this, I'll be like, yeah, show it to me. I want to see that you repaired it. I just did that on a different part that we had repaired on the truck. And like I mentioned, it's coming in a future episode and they gave me a nasty look because they were replacing parts. And I said, I want all the old parts back. He said, why do you want them? They're not good. I said, I just want all the old parts. It wasn't necessarily because I was concerned they were going to like do us dirty, but at the same time, I was just kind of like, you know, I, I want the parts. I'll just add them to my little collection. So anyway, what do you think? Did our RV dealer do us dirty? Leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you.